One big question that patients have is how fast can I get back to activity after PRP injections? If you're curious about recovery time after PRP injections, stick around to watch this video and find out more. Hi, I'm Dr. Jess Sally with Regenex Pittsburgh, Southwestern Pennsylvania's premier provider of interventional orthopedics and orthobiologic injections. Today, I'll share some tips on optimizing your recovery after orthobiologic procedures. From understanding the do's and don'ts after the procedure to understanding how long it takes to get better. I've got you covered, so let's jump right into it. So how soon can I walk after PRP injections? PRP, or platelet-rich plasma, is actually a concentrated form of platelets that are found naturally in your own blood. These platelets help with the initial healing process in things like muscle, tissue, tendon, or even bone. Platelets help to actually stimulate stem cell activity and actually provide the growth factors that help with healing processes and reducing inflammation. When we're performing platelet-rich plasma treatments, oftentimes your recovery is dictated by the extent of your injury. Simple injuries such as muscle strains or small tears in tendons or mild arthritis in the joint will likely recover quickly and return to activity may even be within a day or two after the treatment. For more extensive injuries like more high-grade arthritis or larger tears in tendons such as the Achilles, recovery time may take longer or require additional support such as a walking boot or additional bracing to help with reducing movement in the joint and improving outcomes. Within the initial few hours after the treatment, you will likely feel some discomfort and soreness stemming from the actual treatment itself. Platelets naturally are in inflammatory. That's the same way when you get a bruise or a cut on your arm, your body produces inflammation to help stimulate the platelet activity. This is what kickstarts the recovery and the healing process. For the first few days after the procedure, it's best to probably just stick with basic activity and gentle walking. If we're talking about an upper extremity injury such as the shoulder or the elbow, then just doing general daily activity is likely okay and will not cause additional problems after the procedure. Usually within a few days after the procedure, that initial inflammation caused by the injections is starting to resolve and people can usually start to increase their activity following this. There may be some additional discomfort in the joint that's affected, but we usually tell people that any activity that keeps pain below a two to three out of 10 on the pain scale is usually okay and will not create more issues with the joint with activity. Any activity that pushes pain above that level is likely too much to perform at that time and should be modified appropriately or cut that activity out to reduce additional stress on the joint. So what are things to avoid with a PRP injection? Following the procedure, we often tell patients to not immerse themselves in any standing water for up to two to three days after the procedure. So that's avoiding things like swimming or hot tub immersion or ice bath immersion. Showering is usually okay within eight hours after the procedure. Big things that you need to avoid before and after PRP injections are anti-inflammatory medications, things like Advil, ibuprofen, Aleve. The big reason is that these types of medications actually inhibit the ability of the platelet to do its job within the body and can limit the response that people achieve from these procedures. Also following a PRP procedure, you don't wanna apply ice to the area for one month after the treatment. As the platelets are starting their healing activity, the ice can actually inhibit the platelet response and slow down the healing within the body and within the tissue structure. Heat is okay to be applied to the area. I usually tell people to avoid applying heat for two to three days after the procedure to wait until that initial heavy inflammation calms down from the injection itself. Avoiding things like smoking tobacco and drinking alcohol after the procedure are also helpful for improving healing and avoiding anything that would cause adverse responses to the platelets or the healing process. So how long does it take to get better after a PRP injection? Well, typically I'll tell patients that you're gonna feel some discomfort for a day or two after the procedure. After that, usually people start to get back to at least a decent baseline in terms of their pain or better. That sometimes lingers for maybe two or three weeks after the treatment, and then symptoms usually start to steadily improve after that. I would say to expect ongoing improvements uh, within two to three months after the procedure, and then start to notice more maximum improvements somewhere between the third and sixth month after the treatment. 
Usually that's the time frame that it takes for healing to kind of reach its maximum capacity. So you can expect things to continue to improve over that time. So in conclusion, PRP injections offer a natural treatment option for activating your body's own repair cells and for helping to reduce inflammation in joints and tendons. Recovery after these treatments is usually relatively quick. There may be some soreness initially following the procedure, but getting back to walking activity is usually very quick for people and recovery usually happens within the first few weeks to months. Additional treatments like post-treatment physical therapy and other range of motion treatments for helping to improve function will oftentimes help patients to gain function and pain relief more quickly. Feel free to subscribe now or comment below uh, to help to learn more about these types of procedures and to find out how Regenex Pittsburgh can be helpful for your pain needs.